Siamo a Roma alla presentazione del film La Corrispondenza, il nuovo film di Giuseppe Tornatore. Abbiamo intervistato il regista premio Oscar e i due protagonisti, Olga Kirulenko e Jeremy Irons. Ecco cosa ci hanno detto. Uh, your character in the movie has a secret place, a place where we can be himself. Uh, do you have a place like that uh, in your real life? I do. I have a little place in Ireland where I can... In fact, all my... I have a... All my homes I can be like that, but particularly in Ireland, where I'm quite away from the film business fame and all of that, and I just live as myself. It's where I love to be most. Uh, in the movie, you're almost like a YouTuber. It's something that you, uh, you know? You no, no, I use, I use Skype, okay. but mainly with my... American agent in Los Angeles, we sit and we talk, um, and that's useful. Uh, I prefer it to the telephone. Um, but uh, no, I'm, I'm not a lover of that technology and try to use it as little as possible. Okay. Uh, the movie, your character uh, is someone that loves very, very deeply. Uh, do you think that uh, he does what he does Uh, for the love, or is it something almost selfish because you could be with the people mm. that he loved instead he is staging mm. all this? I think you have to remember that, that their relationship ha has been, uh, uh, even though they've been in love for six years, they've been in different places many times. So the way they communicate is using technology a lot of the time, apart from the times obviously when they meet. So really all he's doing is extending that. And I think, like many people, they, when they have something they love, they never want it to end, whether it be a love affair or life or dinner. Today is a sad day because David Bowie is no longer with us mm. and you're an artist too. Mm. And in some way, uh, you, you people, you artist people, um, um, live after... Um, Uh, after these mortal yeah. beings, so uh, it is. Um, do you think sometimes that what you do now will last many years after? I I I hope so. It's not why I do it, but I hope the best of what I've done will have a life beyond mine. David certainly will. I mean, he was he was so iconic over those you know from the 70s to the 90s, really and his music, I think, will live on, um, some more than others, and his, his characters will be remembered, uh, quite iconic. Um, so I suppose artists, in a way, their, their best work, I mean, there are many writers, for instance, who we never hear of now, but we still hear of Shakespeare. We still hear of Balzac. Um, you know, the great writers remain, the great painters remain, uh, And I think with the modern idiom of film, uh, the great filmmakers and to a certain extent the actors will also remain after they have shuffled off this mortal coil. <laughs> Do you think that love uh, is really so strong that can last and uh, can overcome something? I think love can overcome anything. <laughs> love, not only for human people, but also for art. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think love is a tremendously powerful. Uh, I mean, it's, I, I think, no coincidence that Jesus said God is love. I think it's the most powerful thing we can use, and I wish everybody to have it and to use it and to give it to each other, because it is, it, it would sort out most of our global problems and our personal problems. Uh, it's not a salve, it's very hard. But it's a great gift when it falls into your lap between two people. Uh, uh, and it's an attitude to life, I think, which is the most positive uh, for life and for the future of the world's life. <laughs>